University is embracing the riot girl movement of the early 90s. It's hosting an upcoming event called Rebel Roses, the Riot Girl Experience. And the event uses music, art, and speech to speak out against all types of gender-based violence and harassment. Stephanie Rosado and Natalie Brady are here to tell us more. Good to see both of you, ladies. Good Thanks to for see coming you. in today. Yeah. So you guys probably don't remember the 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 movement itself right because you're too young but so how did you find out about it and um you and for people who don't know what the riot girl movement is what is it yeah um i had a class actually it was like about a year and a half ago called feminism and punk rock where we actually studied it um and it was like very interesting to me we watched so many documentaries on it and it really spoke to me and a lot of like my sisters and other people as we like spoke about it spoke out about it but so you said it really well it uses like speech, poetry, writings, art, and music all as vehicles to speak out against sexual assault, harassment, abuse, rape. Et yeah, Stephanie, these are hard things to talk about. Do you think that makes it easier when you're using these forms of media, music and art and things like that? as a way to leap into the conversation? Of course, I think that with media, we have a lot of more exposure to these topics and are able to bring them more to the light for all of us to come together and relate to them. What was it that spoke to you about the movement? Um, I think just empowering women and all connecting on this one topic is really just what inspired us to do this event and everything. Uh, we wanted to put on an event that would inspire and encourage others and also be able to give back to the community. So tell me what's going to be happening uh, at the campus on Saturday during this event. It's from 11 to 3. Uh, what will people experience if they go? So we are going to have multiple vendors of like local artisans and also organizations set up to speak about their missions. And then we'll have four musical acts, which will be Matt Waters and the Recipe, Safa, who's a local solo artist. She's amazing. Ruse, who's actually one of our friends and an MKU student. She's a DJ. And then I will be singing with uh, uh, jazz pianist Andrew Haug and Stephanie is also going to sit in on a couple of teams. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. and, and then you'll have artists there as well. Yes, yes. they're going to be showcasing their art um, and then we'll also have some poetry. One of our members will be doing some spoken word. Wow, so. that's great. And I know that tickets are really cheap. They're only five dollars, but they go to something really important. Stephanie, tell me about that. They go to women, helping women, all the proceeds for the tickets. And Natalie, would you like to tell us more about Yeah, um, that's a local organization here in Cincinnati. But um, so they strive to empower and support like survivors of domestic violence, dating violence, stalking, and sexual violence. Yeah, they help women and men yes. who have been victims and have survived, and children mm -hmm. who are affected by violence. Um, they have a really important mission. It's so great to see young people like you guys getting involved in that, you know, at a young age and not finding out about it later in life and, and doing it in such a fun way. Rebel Roses, the Riot Girl Experience is this Saturday from 11 to 3 at NKU's University Center Ballroom. And for more details, all you have to do is go to local12.com, click on the Get It Now links. It sounds like a lot of fun, but a really important cause. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ladies, for coming in to talk with us today. Stephanie and Natalie, it was great to meet you. Great to meet you. And we'll be back in a moment with more Good Morning Cincinnati.